<laughs> Should I get the other one? No, I was gonna say I have the other one where it's like more colors and doesn't look like I'm wearing any one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll explain. Hello everyone, I'm Mama Hearts Makeup and forgive me but I forgot to do an intro for this video that I filmed doing my daughter's makeup. So well, I'm just going to jump right in if you don't mind and I'm penciling in the areas I want to separate with just a black eyeliner and I'm wetting her face a little bit with MAC Fix Plus just to help this cream costume makeup glide on um, a bit better. It tends to get a little bit sticky. So I wanted something to help distribute it a bit easier. And now I'm going in with some white water activated face paint just along the perimeter of the areas that I put the white cream makeup on. I just wanted a bit of depth. And I'm putting a little bit on her lips just to make them a bit pale. And I'm setting the whole face with a little loose translucent face powder. I'm just brushing it off and with that same eye pencil I'm drawing in a little heart here doing a few squiggles and spirals and now going in with the NYC liquid eyeliner I'm just adding a few dots for decoration and now using black track by MAC I'm filling in the heart here I'm going in with this pressed glitter, this really silvery one. I'm putting that all over the heart so that this loose glitter by Mika Bella can stick right to it. And I'm just filling that in. And now going into the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette, that first and third contour color, I'm kind of using that to make the hollows of her eyes a bit um, more deeper set. I'm going in with a bit of concealer and this Morphe palette. It's a 35E palette by the way and that pink color. And using my favorite Fashionista eye eyeshadow and just darkening up those eye sockets there. And I'm going in with this Ico waterproof eyeliner. I'm giving her a little wing. And I'm handing the eyeliner to my daughter so she can go ahead and put it in the waterline herself. Because I ain't trying to stab nobody in the eye. And now I'm just gonna smoke out that lower lash line with that Fashionista eyeshadow. And using a Rimmel white eyeliner, I'm just going to put a little bit more white on the lips and I'm just marking where I'm going to put the little pearl gems on her face in just a moment. Now let's draw on the nose. I'm using that same Ico felt liner for that and using the black um, water activated face paint I'm um, drawing in the vertical lines for the teeth. And just going in a bit more with that black shadow just to deepen it up a bit. A bit more shading. Same black eyeshadow. And now I'm creating a little bit more depth with the contour color. Adding a bit of white to the chin. Blending a bit. And now I'm adding some pink. Um, water activated color onto the lips. I'm touching up that black eyeshadow a bit more on the eye sockets to make it look a bit more deep. I'm going in just with some uh, lash glue onto her cheeks there and putting a bit of the glue on the gem itself. I'm just dotting little pearls onto her face here. Same on both sides. And I'm going to put a few on her forehead as well. What do you think? So cute, I love it. <laughs> it's missing anything? Mm. Can I just put the mascara on? Oh, yeah, for sure. Let me. 
just a tiny bit of this brown. Now we were getting ready to go to a Halloween themed concert, so that's why I have my makeup and costume on and why I'm doing her makeup as well. Well, not only did I forget to do an intro, I forgot to do an outro as well. I'm so sorry. But um, she went and put on her graduation dress, a white dress that she had already, and put on this headband that we found at Windsor. We attached some lace to the back, and that was it. Thank you so much for watching. See you again next time. Bye.